thanks for coming to my micro drawings channel tonight i am going to draw a picture of calvin and Hobbes fishing so i started with my items for reference there and i'm using a copic multi-liner 0.03 black pen i always like to start with the face or the facial features of one of the characters in this case i'm starting with Hobbes's nose and then i'm drawing in his um, mouth and eyes and cheek and going from there and keeping everything relative to that as far as size but that's kind of my anchor point to start on my micro drawings and I've been doing quite a bit of fishing myself in my area uh, trout fishing is what I'm most interested in so I thought I'll do a picture of Calvin and Hobbes doing some fishing tonight so I'm continuing to work around Calvin's excuse me Hobbes's face getting his ears in there working down the side of his cheek there and there's a q-tip for reference I added a couple other objects tonight for the reference um, I have an Apple iPhone charger later on and an SD card just to give some reference again this picture ended up getting a little bigger because it's spaced out. So Calvin and Hobbes themselves are pretty little, and you'll see with a Q-tip, uh, but they're, they're spaced out. Hobbes is in the background, so he ends up being a, relatively a little bit smaller than he normally would be if he's right next to Calvin. And then there's a little fish that's added too, which would be closest to us as we view it. So there I'm putting in Hobbes's hand, holding the part of the fishing rod and reel working down hit the white of his tummy and working on adding his legs and the stripes as I go and there's his feet going in if you haven't please consider subscribing to the channel that way you can get updates as I post new videos I do a variety of subject matter uh, ranging from Kelvin and Hobbes to Snoopy to uh, Hello Kitty is something I've done recently. <clears throat> I'm looking to get a little more Star Wars um, subjects going here soon. There I'm adding Hobbes's tail and putting the stripes in there. There's the quarter for reference again. You can see that Hobbs is pretty small compared to that quarter. And from there, I'm adding his other hand. Actually, there's the reel of the fishing rod and reel combo, but there's his other hand holding the pole. And there's the elbow and forearm of that hand. And then I was kind of struggling here to decide how should I go about getting it anchored for um, Calvin to be added. And I decided I would go with the fishing line going down to his shorts. I can't recall from the comic or the comic strip. In this case, my understanding or guess would be that the original idea of Calvin and Hobbes was that Calvin would have Hobbes hooked to his shorts so that he'd maintain some balance and could be brought back to shore. Uh, meanwhile, Calvin, of course, has the baseball bat and the snorkel and goggles so he can go after the fish. So not the normal way I go fishing, at least. So I worked on the snorkel there. Um, the fishing line was connected to his uh, actual hand, <clears throat> and then from there it goes down to his shorts. So first it got to his hand, so that's what I drew there first. And there I brought down his uh, chest, down to his waist. And his other hand, which will be wrapped around the baseball bat. There's the bottom of the baseball bat going in. And there's the line down to his shorts, where it's hooked onto his shorts. Kind of like a safety line or, you know, being tethered back to Hobbs. And there I'm adding some 
splash of water, splashes of water. And again, this ends up being more of a scene than just a character by himself. They're matting a little grass on the bank where Hobbs is standing. Some rocks in the water. Again, there's a quarter for reference. You can see it pretty much covers it all up. There's a Q-tip. covers up Calvin and Hobbs individually. And then from that snorkel, I end up working up and around where uh, Calvin has the goggles on. There's his nose inside the goggles. And his eyes go in. Adding the outside of the goggles. Again, using Copic Multi-Liner 0.03 black pen for this. There goes Calvin's trademark hair. And I just continue to work that back around. Again, the reference or the anchor for Calvin to Hobbs is that fishing line coming down. So I'll get back to that in a little while here and we'll add the fishing pole in. There's the top of his snorkel. There's the top of his baseball bat. And here I'm adding the fishing pole itself. I ended up adding the little eyelets and then the fishing line going through the eyelets back down to Hobbs's hands and to that reel. At this point, I was trying to get that lightly feathered in there and a couple times I ended up touching down just a little too hard. So it got a little darker than I wanted it to be, a little thicker than I wanted it to be. And that was Kelvin's belly button I threw in there. Here comes the fish that Calvin's after. Ends up being pretty tiny. It almost looks like the fish is kind of laughing at Calvin and Hobbs. Mouth is open, kind of like a ha-ha kind of uh, pose almost. And there's a splash around the fish as he's jumping out of the water. So I referenced it earlier, but in this picture, again, it's more of a scene. So Calvin is a little larger compared to Hobbs than he normally would be because Hobbs is back there in the background. So just keep that in mind. And then the fish, again, would be closest to us, the viewer. There's the quarter and the, the Q-tip for reference. And I'm moving on to coloring. There's the Copic sketch marker I use. There's a fine tip and a chisel tip. I'm using the fine tip for this, putting the orange on Hobbs. And I rotate the paper so that I can work that fine tip of the marker right up to that black line and try not to go over it. The black line itself from the multi-liner ends up staying, um, I guess, stabilized. I don't know the best word for that, but that doesn't bleed or change when I touch it with the sketch marker. The sketch markers themselves are alcohol based and they can actually blend together. I don't do a lot of that on these micro drawings because there's just not enough space to have much for shadowing, but I do sneak it in there. There's a quarter for reference again. With this picture, I did end up blending and, and putting some different colors on the a brown of the bank under the grass on the bank and the rocks, I had a couple tones, and the baseball bat too, and, and the fish. So I did a, a little bit of blending on this, but not much. On a large scale drawing, you can really have a lot of blending there. And the red, of course, went on to Kelvin's shorts and onto his snorkel. And there's Kelvin's hair going in. Again, turning upside down so I can work right up to the goggle outline. Or mask, I suppose I should say. I've been saying goggle. <laughs> it's a mask. 
Sorry about that. I do not use goggles or masks very often. And during this time when there's a little pause, that's me figuring out which marker to use next. In this case, I grabbed, I can't remember, it's a cotton pearl, I believe the color is, for the skin tone on Kelvin. So again, I'm working up to the line with that fine point. And there I realized that I hadn't gotten back to a little part of the mask. So I'd touch that back up. There's the quarter for reference again. So getting close, got the bank to do yet, the bat. And there I'm putting on the lighter part of the bat. I'll go back with a little darker brown at this point and add it. So it's a little three-dimensional, not a lot of blending there, but just a little bit so you can see there's a shadow on the bat. Quarter for reference again. And again, I'm testing out the colors off to the side on a, a different note card just to see how they'll work as far as, you know, color compared to uh, Kelvin and Hobbs that have already got colored in there. So there I just put a, a kind of a lime green, green in for the grass. And there's a, I think that was a cool gray number three. Then I'm using a cool gray number five to add a little shadow on the rocks there. There's the iPhone charger for reference. You can see each of the images or each of the characters, Calvin and Hobbes both, they're about the size of the tip of that that actually plugs into the port charging port on your phone if you have an iPhone. And there I'm working on the fish a little bit. This was definitely one of my longer works. Uh, just a lot going on. Uh, there's the iPhone charger again. A lot going on in terms of the characters, you know, and the extra equipment in there, the fishing pole, the mask, the snorkel, the baseball bat, having the fish in there, the rocks. If I'm just drawing a single character, it, it does take less time. For this video, I end up um, speeding it up quite a bit. So live time, it took quite a bit longer than this. There again, just working to get the fish. Q-tip for reference again. You can see the Q-tip pretty much covers things up, each character. There's an SD card. Thought it'd be a good reference too. A lot of people are used to that size. And if you flip it sideways, it ends up covering about the whole scene. There I'm starting to work on the dirt part of the bank underneath the grass. And I do end up using a, I think it was three different brown colors to kind of get that shadow appearance, that three-dimensional appearance there on the bank. Again, there's the SD card showing that you can pretty much cover it with that. Getting close to done. Again, I'm testing colors off or out off to the side. Decided on a blue to use. I think I need to research a, a Copic blue that would work a little bit better. I need a lighter blue. This is about the lightest blue I've got. The other ones are pretty dark. So if you put those for the water, it ends up uh, overpowering the scene, I think. There, I'm just adding some lighter lines there to give the illusion of some more detail or ripples in there. And uh, getting the date and signature on there. Quarter for reference, covers up everything but the fish pretty much. SD card, again for reference. And then I realized while I was doing this that I forgot to color the uh, mask in on Kelvin. 
So I end up picking up one of the grays and getting that colored in. It's kind of, you know, shadowed a different color than the face would be or the skin tone. So again, thanks for coming to the, my micro drawings challenge or micro drawings channel. I do have a micro drawings challenge. Um, every day this year, I'm drawing a micro drawing and sharing that on Facebook. So thanks for visiting. Please consider subscribing.